host Akelda here. I bring you experts, experiences, and epic adventures to boost your health. I'm a certified integrative nutrition health coach, a certified fitness professional, and the host and producer of the Wise Traditions podcast. Today, I want to give you an understanding as to why I went to Australia. I'm sure you were like, what the heck, she's been gone so long, or maybe you didn't really notice. But anyway, the point is I was gone for a month, and what was I doing down there? I was retracing the footsteps of Dr. Weston A. Price. And if you don't know who he is, you're gonna learn about him. He was an amazing researcher. Well, why should I tell you now when I already recorded what I was gonna say down in Australia on Bronte Beach. Check it out. I am in Sydney at Bronte Beach. It is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. The water is crystal clear. And I'm coming directly to you today because I wanted to tell you why I'm in Australia. I'm not sure everybody has a big picture. So I am following in the footsteps of Dr. Weston A. Price, a dentist from the 1930s. What is a Latina like me doing in a place like this, following in the footsteps of a Canadian dentist from the 1930s? I'll tell you. So Dr. Price was this amazing researcher, adventurer, and really an anthropologist and scientist who wanted to find the healthiest people around the world. He was treating children in his clinic, dental clinic, and he saw that they had crowded teeth, a lot of cavities, poor behavior. They weren't well at all. And at the same time as he was treating them, he was getting National Geographic magazine that had these glossy pictures of indigenous people around the world with these broad faces, these beautiful smiles, and they looked healthy and vibrant and alive. And he thought, do these people really exist? This was his first question. Do they really exist? People with these beautiful dental arches with no dental deformities and good health? And number two, if they do exist, what are they eating? So he took it upon himself to begin traveling the world to find indigenous people groups who were untouched by modern civilization, who were still following their ancestral health practices. So he went to Switzerland and he found people eating lots of dairy, cheese, butter. And he found these little children in the mountains of Switzerland who were barefoot in a really freezing creek. Meanwhile, Dr. Price and his wife were like shivering with their overcoats on and he was amazed at how well they were and how beautiful their teeth were. Actually, they were covered by a thin coat of slime, he said, but they had very low incidences of cavities and no dental deformities to speak of. He was blown away. Then he went to Alaska and again, there were these people with these beautiful, broad faces, ample nostrils to take in oxygen, and their diet was vastly different. There they had whale blubber and fish and seal oil. And he said, the babies hardly cried. Only if they were hurt would they cry. So he was also astounded, but he was a meticulous researcher and he documented what he observed in all these different villages. He went to Kenya, he went to the South Sea Pacific Islands, and he came here to Australia, and here, he noted that the aboriginal indigenous people of this country were of the finest moral and physical perfection of any people group he had seen. He said that they could see stars that the white man couldn't see. He watched them in competitions of grabbing fish with their bare hands. So he recorded all of this in his book, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. And as he traveled the world, what he concluded was when people ate their traditional diets, they were well. They were healthy, they were hardy, they were fertile, they were enjoying their best lives, they were optimistic. But when they departed from these diets, they began to experience chronic health conditions, the crowding of teeth, dental deformities, and cavities, and all that goes with it. He said the teeth tell the tale. He was a dentist, so he was into the teeth, but he was right. When the teeth were perfectly fitting in the structure of the skull, they were well, and when the teeth were crowded, it was a sign that something deeper was wrong. And he was able to compare people groups because he could find this indigenous, isolated people and contrast them with those who were starting to adopt the modern Western diet. He called them the displacing foods of modern commerce. And when these things happened, not only were people's health compromised who were eating those foods, but their children's health was compromised. And so, I want to travel the world to tell people, don't eat the U.S. way. Oh my goodness, please don't eat our way. Even though we're trying to export all the fast food and all the junk food. No, I want to say, eat your way. Eat the way your ancestors ate. And it's such a beautiful message to bring because it welcomes 
the diversity of the diet depending on where people live. They can eat locally and more whole real foods and they will enjoy the wonderful health that is their birthright. So this is my mission to share wise traditions where I can and to lift up wise traditions to tell people about these things who maybe are stuck in this kind of standard American diet or this Western diet that compromises their health and let them know that they don't have to be a slave to that anymore and they will be deeply nourished and live a much more satisfying and healthy life. So this is my mission, this is what I'm about. This is the third country that Dr. Price visited that I've been to. I've been to Peru and Kenya as well and I am so excited to be here. I cannot wait. I have many wonderful things coming up which I hope to also post on this channel. If you want to know anything more, follow my website holistichilda.com, go to westonaprice.org and learn about these nourishing, timeless principles for healthy diets. Thanks for watching today, you guys. Subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and comment below and tell me what you thought of this video, and if you have any other ideas of experts or experiences you'd like me to bring to you. Thanks, and talk to you soon.